The lightning brothers are depicted rising in the sky, hovering over the masses like a radiant curtain of synchrotron light. Highly visible to the ancients and a stunning display that would influence a people so much that thousands of years later, these apparent fleeting moments in time are still being told in the Dreamtime tradition. Wait till you hear this. In the sandstone country, in the top of the Northern Territory, lies a spectacular concentration of Aboriginal rock art. Paintings of mythological creatures and mysterious symbols adorn the rock faces of the sandstone cliffs and rock formations. They are accompanied by a variety of rock engravings dominated by the striking figures of Yag Jag Bula and Jabberingi, the Lightning Brothers. The Lightning Brothers, with wide dark eyes and dramatically striped bodies, are ancestral beings who in the Dreamtime helped shape the traditional land of the Aboriginal people and associated with sky events including the coming of life-giving rain. The ancients witnessed these beings in the sky, much with the similarities in Greek, Egyptian and even Indian traditions but to name a few. These beings, seen in the sky, are a manifestation of the same event witnessed globally. They are to the Aboriginals what the gods such as Zeus and Vishnu are to the Greeks and Indians. Literally called for what they are, lightning in the sky, radiating x-rays and radiating plasma in a wisping auroral fashion. The blue-white arc of lightning bolts stuns the senses. Blinding radiance, elemental beauty, awesome power and primordial danger flash into existence from thin air and vanish before the mind catches up. We stare, immobile, unthinking and awestruck. In that moment, a channel of air, the diameter of a quarter, heats 50,000 degrees as trillions of electrons cascade back to Earth. The volume of air blows up, radiating energy across the spectrum, sending sonic booms across the sky. Lightning also pummels a land, creating pressure waves exceeding 70,000 atmospheres or 1 million psi. It can create a layer of shock quartz and vitrify surrounding rock into glass. Lightning is an interaction between the Earth and the sky, it's caused by an electric field between the electric storm above and the ground beneath our feet. The Aboriginals associate the Lightning Brothers in this sense with rain and it is now known that water is found where lightning has struck. Subsurface water is a source of ionisation that intensifies charge density and therefore the electric field attracting lightning to this location. Standing surface water won't do this because ions have no point to collect, they spread evenly over the surface of the water. But subterranean water is trapped in the earth, where ions collect and build in concentration, locally intensifying the electric field. Pits, craters and rails formed by lightning leave depressions over aquifers that are natural for springs and wells to form. The Squatterman event are the Lightning Brothers, the overwhelming influence of a planet-wide event taking place due to the interaction with Earth's atmosphere of plasmatic energies being exchanged between the planets in the solar system. But what do you guys think about the Lightning Brothers of the Dreamtime stories? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.